Hi everyone, it's Omar Khan here, also known as Javelin Professor. So in today's video, uh, I'm going to be showing you guys the top 10 mistakes Java beginners make. So without further ado, let's get started. So first of all, we're going to hover on Java X12, which is our project, and gonna, we're going to create a new class. So we're going to name it, uh, you know, mistakes uh, to avoid. All right. Now we're gonna write. Uh, click on publish static void main string. All right. Now I'm just gonna copy paste this real quick and uh, convert it into comments. All right. So uh, first here is missing the semicolon. Suppose you're writing like I don't know any uh, code. So which is like int a is equals to five. You write it like this, and then you write system dot o dot print ln. Uh, we can write uh, a. Now you might be wondering why these why why there's a like a red line below the five and after the parentheses of the a. Well, that's because you're missing a semicolon, and semicolon is super important in Java. It's not like Python. Like in Python, you don't have to use the, like the uh, semicolon. It's not like Java. In Java, it is, it is mandatory or obligatory like to use the semicolon or else uh, if you don't use it, then your code is always going to end up with an error. So now, uh, let's go on the second mistake that a lot of beginners make. So which is using the equals assignment operator rather than the inst uh, instead of the uh, equals comparison operator. So yeah, like you might be wondering like these two are the same thing, right? Well, actually no. Look. So this like how I wrote it in my previous example here. So this is in a is equals five, obviously with the semicolon. Now the equals is basically like the assignment operator. So we're basically like you know initializing the five. So this is basically used to initialize stuff, or to yeah yeah to initialize stuff or like. Or you can, or we can also do like string a, a is equals to. Uh, we can do like I don't know text. Uh, oops, string b. So yeah, it can basically like uh, it's basically like an assignment operator and it and it lets you and uh, initialize like text or you know, like uh, you know any uh, like numbers, decimal numbers, float numbers, and etc. So this is the difference for the uh, assignment operator. Now we're gonna proceed to the comparison. So the comparison is basically used whenever you are you're using the if statement or yeah if statement. So basically like comparison, we're comparing two things. So if int a is double equals to b. So now I'm basically just gonna write it over here. Int a is equals to int a is equals to five semicolon int B is equal to 10. Then we're going to write here. Uh, oops, sorry. If A is equals, equals B. So this is double equals and uh, a single equal. So you got to watch out for that. Like, this seems pretty like, you know, like, uh, like it's basically like the same uh, symbol, like, but two times. But, like, this is different and this is also different. So you gotta watch out for that. So if a is equals to b, then we can write system dot out dot print ln uh, a is equals to b. All right. Now let's uh, run the code. First, we're gonna save it and then run it. Then you can see. Uh, wait a minute. Why is it not running? Uh, if a is equals to b. All right, uh, so let me just check it. Oh, okay, guys. So basically, I literally made like a mistake here. So you also gotta watch out for the mistake I made it. So basically, you gotta write else. You gotta write system dot o dot print ln. Uh, it's not equal. So basically, like of course, it, like five is not equal to ten. Then it wouldn't print anything. Because 
like we haven't like said like uh, the else statement so now we've said the else statement let me just remove this now let's save the code and run it now it should run properly now it's gonna print it's not equal because obviously 5 is not equal to 10 all right now let's proceed to the third one so which is uh not using curly braces in if and else so yeah this is a pretty common mistake look else and if and let's just write the a is equal to b once again and look it's giving an as an error like look this is like syntax error on token else expected like it, it will think like the else is the a uh, variable name rather than the like which is used for the if else so like to avoid that confusion you have to always use the curly braces and you also have to use it for the if statement so suppose you don't write it for the if statement the curly braces and write for write for it uh, the for the else statement and then well it's still it's gonna it's still like gonna give an error so for that like to avoid that we have to write curly braces all right so now we're gonna proceed to the fourth one which is case sensitivity now what does it mean by that case sensitivity well basically java is case sensitive so basically like if you're gonna write system.out.println let's just write it like this system.out.println hello world all right now you might be wondering why is this giving an error? Why is there like a red line here? Now let's hover on it. A system cannot be resolved. Like it will think once again that it's not like a variable name or like some random text. Like suppose like we just were like this. So it's basically gonna uh, think like it's something else rather than like uh, rather than the system dot dot print ln itself. So to avoid that error, we have to write system print ln so the s s capital it can only like recognize the s capital not the s or else it's always gonna uh, get confused and it's gonna think that the system is something else so to avoid that we gotta write s capital now let's proceed to the fifth error uh, which is array index index out of box so let's uh, suppose we have an array here so if in a uh, <coughs> uh, okay, int, int a is equals to we can write uh, number one, number two, number three. All right, now we're gonna write system dot out dot print uh, We're gonna write uh, a four. Now, so basically, uh, we are gonna start with the index. Now, let's see if there's any fourth index here. So, zero, one, two. So there's only two, not like four. So, now once we save it and run it, then it's gonna give us another exception in thread main java.lang array index out of bounds exception. So, basically, what this uh, stuff means is basically, basically, like the fourth index doesn't exist. There's only two. One, zero, one, two. Now it would wouldn't give an uh, give us an error if we add if we actually add the fourth index. So zero, one, two. We're gonna write five. So the five is gonna be the fourth index. So it's gonna print the address. Uh, uh not the address. Sorry, I mean the fifth. So which is <coughs> the fourth. It's gonna print five. Now we can do the same thing for the third. So the third is actually the four because it's starting with a zero. So three, it's gonna print four, then we can print any number we would like with this. So that is the most like common mistake of the error. So you gotta avoid that. Like obviously if you write ten, then the tenth index doesn't even exist. Then how would it print like anything? It would just throw an error like that. Alright, now we're gonna uh, proceed on the sixth, seven, eight, nine. All right. So we're gonna proceed on the sixth, which is forgetting to use break statement with switch statement. Now this is a very common mistake that even me too. Like I also like make it sometimes. So basically, for example, uh, we have here like in day equals to five. Now 
we're gonna write switch day. Now we're gonna write uh, case one uh, system dot out dot print ln. We're gonna write Monday. Monday. Then we're gonna uh, write a semicolon, or else if you don't write it, it's gonna be with an error. Now let's do the same thing for the rest of the cases. Case. All right. Now, without using the uh, break state. Now let's see if it's gonna give us an error or, not, or if it's gonna actually work. So, all right. Now we're gonna also write the uh, default statement. All right. So we're gonna write default system dot out dot print ln. We're gonna write. Uh, it doesn't exist. exist. Alright, semicolon. Now let's save the code and run it. Now it's gonna print Monday and it doesn't exist. Now why would it print Monday and it doesn't exist? Well, that's because we aren't using the break state. So the break statement is actually uh, the uh, right it so like there are, there's five days here so Monday uh, all right let me just uh, I forgot to switch it to Tuesday Wednesday so Wednesday let me just do this real quick and then Thursday and then Friday all right <laughs> now let's re rerun the code and it's gonna print Friday which is the fifth day and it's gonna print it doesn't exist that's because we're not using the break state it's basically gonna like uh, run it like uh, these like all these five together without being break uh, breaks like you know just like how there's brakes in a car so it's not gonna like stop so to avoid that you have to write break after each system dot dot print ln so now we're gonna write here break Case three, break. Case four, break. Case five, break. All right. Now it should work, right? Now let's run the code. Uh, let's save it first, then run it. Then, as you can see, it printed Friday. But like before, it got confused and it ran all of them together, and then like it ended up printing Friday, and it doesn't exist, which is probably the sixth day. Now the sixth day it doesn't exist because we haven't initialized the day with six. We initialized it with only five. That's why uh, it printed Friday. <laughs> All right. Now let's proceed to the seventh mistake. So using plus for string concatenation incorrectly. Let me just remove this big chunk of code here. All right. Now we're gonna write system. So I'm basically gonna write uh what should I write? So int a is equals to five. <laughs> then here we're gonna write the value. Uh oops, sorry, I gotta write it in system dot dot print ln and obviously end it with semicolon as always. So then the value of a is A. All right. Now let's run the code, save the code, and run it. And as you can see, it gave the value of a is colon five. Now that obviously looks weird. So that's uh, what a lot of beginners like uh, end up doing. So you gotta avoid that. So how how do you avoid doing this? Well, you basically just gotta add a space after the the colon and space in here now it's gonna end up printing uh, the value of a is 5 but we added one extra space in here so we're basically gonna write uh, wait a minute. Uh, here the value of a is plus oops I just removed the a wait a minute let me just re-add it uh, real quick. Alright, 
So the value of a is a. So plus a. Now let's run the code once again. And as you can see, it printed properly. The value of a is 5. All right. Okay. And yeah, the value of a is 5. Now we can change the value of a to whatever we want, but don't want to waste time. So now we're going to proceed to the 8th uh, mistake that a lot of beginners make. So, so the mistake is basically using the while loop. So we're going to write in a is equal to 5 while a is less than uh, int a is equals to 0 while a is less than 5 then here we're gonna write system dot o dot print ln and then here we're gonna write a now you might think that it's gonna print like 0 all the way to 5 just like a for loop right but now that's not actually the case so basically once we run it it's gonna print 0 and less than like infinitely and we don't want that or else our system is gonna crash so for that uh, we're gonna write i plus plus so we're gonna write a plus plus so now save it and run it and as you can see it ended up printing 0 1 2 3 4 so basically the mistake was you should basically add a plus plus so if you don't add it it's gonna print endless and your program might probably crash because due to a lot of like infinite uh, if, uh, due to a lot of infinite like zeros that's why all right now let's proceed to our last uh, but not least forgetting to compile the program now, I'm not gonna be like uh, like doing it like uh, you know right now but you, you like look you must basically run the following command in the terminal in the terminal so basically you can go like uh, like, uh, search for the terminal or yeah and then in the terminal you're gonna write java c then the class name so our class name is not main it is mistakes to avoid but yours uh, like your class his name can be anything that you put so java c your class's name dot java so this is to compile now to run it you gotta uh, write enter then you gotta once again write java your class's name that's it and it's gonna compile the code automatically but we can also uh no not automatically i mean manually so we can also like you know uh compile or the i mean run the code automatically but that's your choice and yeah guys that was it for today's video so i hope you, know, you learned how to avoid these 10 top 10 mistakes this video so make sure to like share and subscribe and yeah guys have a nice day bye